Believe it or not, it's only now that we're starting to unravel the mysteries of some of the biggest animals in the sea. In fact, until recently, we had no idea that the world's second largest fish is actually an all-year-round resident of the British Isles. Almost every summer, the giant basking shark makes an appearance off the Isle of Man and also the picturesque coastline of Cornwall, which is where we take up the story of this gargantuan shark. got to be my number one because it's my local shark. I can sit in the studio, we can look out of the window and when the shark are around you can actually see fins from the window out here in the ocean and you know the shark are here. The obvious shark that you're most likely to see in fact in, in the British Isles is the basking shark. It's the second largest fish in the sea uh, growing up to around eight meters or so and most people have no idea that these sharks are in our waters. I heard stories just off here, off Cornwall, of lifeguards on the beach seeing the fins and ringing the bell to get everybody out of the water thinking it's a Jaws scenario. They see a huge fin and they think, my god, it's monster. Cornwall has an idyllic coastline and people often uh, act in awe and, and sometimes uh, get afraid at seeing this huge fin along the coastline because unless you can see what's underneath, you, you know you don't know how big the shark is or, or what species it is. They'll probably think it's the largest white shark that they've ever seen because that's what most people think of when they see a large dorsal fin. I don't think most people even know what a basking shark is or that there is such a thing. It's our local shark. It comes in every year. It's the size of a bus. They're huge creatures. They come in off the Cornish coast every year, they cruise around on the surface for a while and then they disappear again. Visibility in the water is not brilliant. Uh, it's very green water, it is filled with little tiny copepods, which the basking sharks are feeding on. So you sort of see them out of the gloom at first. And if a basking shark is coming at you with its mouth closed, it has the exact same shape as a great white shark except at a much, much larger size. So there's this incredible moment of excitement when you go, well, they could be here, <laughs> but I'm sure it's a basking shark. Unlike the white shark, it feeds on plankton. So it's totally harmless. So it's, it's kind of like the best of two worlds. You get to swim with a, an animal larger than the white shark that looks very similar to it. Basking sharks are rather strange prehistoric looking sharks. They hang around in the colder water. We get them off our west coast in summer. They mysteriously disappear out of nowhere and they cruise close into our bathing beaches, scaring the hell out of our bathers because they've got big fins and everybody clears off the beaches. But of course they're quite harmless. The first time I ever saw a basking shark, and, and it was a big one, it was coming straight towards me and that mouth was wide open. And the only thing I could think, the only thing that kept on going through my mind was, I know it only eats plankton. Does it know it only eats plankton? I just had these images that it's, the mouth was so big it would just swallow me up as it went by. It was a huge shark. Magical. It's magical. Um, they, they say it can turn over the volume of a swimming pool every three minutes in terms of the amount of water it takes in and filters to get the, the uh, copepods. They're not dangerous at all. They're, they're feeding on the smallest animals in the sea, the, the plankton, the smallest plants and animals. I believe that the basking shark's been here almost three times as long as the dinosaurs. So it was around through the whole period of dinosaurs, as were many of our sharks and it doesn't look like it's changed much at all. I mean, it's the same size as the dinosaurs, so it's a very unique animal. Nobody's actually researched them until very, very recently, and it's only in the past year that we've started to find out some of the secrets of the basking shark, and there are some amazing secrets about where it goes in the winter, what it does, how deep it dives, how far it travels, the way it lives its life. 
the recent research has shown that in fact it is staying in our waters, it's just moving into deeper water um, where the temperature is more stable during the winter months. Several sharks have been tagged and been known to go into depths of up to a thousand meters. So maybe they're looking for deep water plankton. The basking shark would appear to remain in UK waters throughout the whole of its life. And therefore, if we bring in laws to protect that shark, we've got very, very good prospects of those laws being successful and of us conserving the second biggest shark in the ocean, the second biggest fish in the sea. In the old days, they were virtually hunted to extinction because they were very easy to catch. You could harpoon them virtually like you can harpoon a whale because they spend a lot of time on, their surf on the surface and the oil was very highly prized. Sharks will become extinct, all sharks will become extinct if, if current fishing and finning uh, populations decline the way they are. I think their numbers are on the increase again now, but they do need protection. They're fantastic animals. It has been harvested in the past and it's been seriously over harvested and populations haven't recovered. It breeds very slowly and what we need to do now is to put into place the, the right conservation methods to protect the sharks. It means that we can perhaps even designate protected areas based on sharks. We've never been able to do that before because we didn't know where these animals went during the winter months. And it will be here not just for us to see but for our children my grandson, he's five at the moment, I would love to take him out and take him swimming with a basking shark and I hope that when he's old enough they'll still be around, but we need to act quickly.